lifeblood of political campaigns. So how will Governor DeSantis play out on the national stage? That's a question I team investigator Katie Legrone is looking into and to answer tonight. She speaks with experts about how the governor is winning in communication, where they feel he's failing and the critical group he needs to quickly start speaking to directly. How do you describe DeSantis's communication strategy? It's aggressive. It's relentless. Right, no, 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 here's the problem. And it's everywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. give me a break. I don't know why that would matter. Where is that coming from? Florida is where woke goes to die. A lot of things are aggressive, relentless, and everywhere. Mosquitoes are aggressive, relentless, and everywhere in Florida. A good campaign has to connect with people. Thank you very much. By now, we know Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has secured enough of a connection with voters in Florida. He won his second term here by a historic landslide. And I have kept the faith. But if he can create that same kind of nexus for a higher office, <laughs> may depend on a political communication strategy that at times can be confrontational. You peddle false narratives. Other times, low key. People will, will, will get on that. <laughs> Compared to his battle-tested rival, former President Donald Trump. Despite Trump's range of legal baggage, which runs the gamut from a jury finding him liable for sexual abuse to alleged campaign finance fraud, few disagree he's become a veteran at the kind of retail handshake politics that can work the room of big donors and charm the Republican elite. The governor is in a lot of ways still trying to find what his tone is. I think what you're seeing is at times a mix of the sort of Trumpian tone. The fact that you're trying to concoct narratives. But is also that classical sort of Republicanism, a much more relaxed approach. And you see that come out at different times for different audiences. USF professor Dr. Joshua Skacko specializes in political communication. To understand how politicians are successful, he says, you have to look at the ways they gain attention and keep it. When they fire, you fire back with overwhelming force. In DeSantis's orbit. It's a fake narrative. Much of that has zeroed in on stoking the flames of culture wars. It is wrong to teach a second grader that they may have been born in the wrong body. An intensifying battle with Disney. We would not have one corporation uh, serving as its own government. And ongoing clashes with mainstream and, uh, media. The idea that you wouldn't be honest about that. He takes the sort of criticism and attack and uses it as a way to enhance his particular message of the person against the world. It's a posture that doesn't start and stop on camera. Skacko explains how DeSantis' team took a page out of President Barack Obama's playbook, finding political gold online and with audiences in friendly places. Barack Obama would go on daytime talk, would go on late night comedy would go courtside at a basketball game to be able to deliver a message. What you're seeing is uh, Governor DeSantis not only using digital and social media, but also using the more conservative uh, information ecosystem to keep attention amongst the people he needs to. He talks to a small group of his staff other than Casey, and it's a very small group, but people don't like him. Rick Wilson, a longtime Republican communication strategist and vocal anti-Trumper, explains where he believes DeSantis's communication strategy is failing to be presidential. He's going to have to go and sit down in a diner in Iowa or New Hampshire with the local county chairman of the Republican Party who is going to ask him questions for an hour about everything that's on that guy's mind. And DeSantis is not comfortable with humans. He is not someone who has that natural grace and felicity that many candidates have. That lack of personal connection recently amplified after about a dozen Florida politicians from his own party announced their vote in 24s with Trump, not DeSantis. And as much as I dislike Donald Trump, he has charisma. He has a stage presence. It's something you can't fake in politics. You can't really train for it. And, and it, I think that's showing right now with Ron DeSantis. Freedom, Freedom lives here. The governor is highly effective at being a strategic communicator. He not only understands what he has to do, but his team understands too. And if you're not breaking through the noise, you're becoming the noise. Ron DeSantis, a politician who's still finding his voice while striking the balance between style and substance.
in a 24-7 scrolling world where candidates are often judged by their last headline. And one headline he's been eager to get, more endorsements from lawmakers. Recently, about 100 Florida senators and representatives announced they will be supporting the governor for U.S. president. I'm Katie Legrone reporting. Katie, thank you. As for what's next,